Welcome, I'm Scott Richards from Beyond the Numbers and thank you for tuning in to this blog post. This blog post, is, <clears throat> today's blog, is like BMX, your business is an explosive sport. And this, <clears throat> today I'll be focusing on getting better results in your business all using BMX as an analogy. Uh, many times in our business we're just not getting the results that we want and, and it's because we're not doing the right training um, and we're not doing training. Uh, Michael Jordan says that it's not only doing training but it's doing the right training. So you can train all day but if you're not doing the training right then you're not going to get the results that you want. So in our business we need to be focusing on getting results but what do we need to get the results? We need to do training and we need to do the right training. So in today's blog post, I'm just going to use a framework of BMX from BMX. Um, basically, this comes from my last week. My son just finished competing in the nationals in BMX, and about six months ago, um, I asked him if he wanted to start if he wanted to get faster at BMX because he had the state titles coming up, and if he wanted to do some training. And he said yes, which uh, surprised me at first but uh, mainly because I knew nothing about BMX. So I had to do what any uh, self-respecting coach would do, and that is Google. So I went and Googled BMX training. And so I, I sort of developed a, a framework on five things for my son to focus on, which uh, to, to help his ability at BMX. And after a while I thought, this is completely transferable into, uh, into coaching and into business coaching. And I just thought I'd share with you my 5S framework uh, to, to cause, to get explosive results in your business. So let's get started. The first S is speed. And now in, in BMX, Speed is essential because BMX is basically a sprint. It goes over 30, 40 seconds. Uh, you've got the, the random gate start and you need that explosive speed out of the gate. You need speed going down the, down the, um, the straights and around the corners. It's, it's necessary in, in, a, in a sprint, obviously, speed. And speed really comes down to two things, technique and power. So you can have all the power but that doesn't. But if you don't have the right technique, you're not going to have the the speed in, in BMX. So if you train, <clears throat> both of these things work dynamically. You can't. They are not um, mutually exclusive, and so you have got to work on on them together. And so you, you can have all the right technique, but if you don't have the power, then you, you're not going to get the speed that you need to win the race. And the, the same. It's exactly the same in business. In business. You got your two variables. You got your technique, which is your your processes or your procedures, and your power comes from your having the right people and experience. So, in your business, if you don't have the right processes, you're not going to have <clears throat> have the speed. So, if you got one person doing this way, one person doing it another way. Um, you're not having the right processes in place, you're not going to know which is the, the right process, you're not going to be following the right process which is the fastest each time because you want to be following the fastest <coughs> process to, to develop speed. You would have heard that speed follows money and, and that is, is true in your business. So in business you, you need to have speed. Speed of turnover of, of your stock. The faster you turn over the stock, the more money that you're going to get into your business. Uh, speed in dealing with your with your customers, or if you're a service business, speed in getting your invoices out or or, do, or getting the work done. So you can have the processes, but if you don't have the right people or you don't have the right experience, you're not going to have the power to to get the, the processes done. So uh, experience. The more that we do things, the, the, the quicker we get. You, you all would have heard of the, uh, you may have heard of the experience curve, so this is <clears throat> how we start. We start getting a little bit faster until we, until we sort of plateau off. Uh, we, we, don't get getting any, <clears throat> we don't get any more faster. 
and people. You, you need to have the right people. So you, you want someone who's good at sales in, in, in marketing. You don't want someone like me uh, marketing your business. So, number one is speed. And for speed, you need processes and people and experience. 